Hello there, and welcome, beautiful stars. So let's go ahead and get into your connection now. What is the overall energy between you and your person right now, Scorpio? All right, the King of Pentacles. All right, so this could be a pretty solid relationship right now. Uh, things are, maybe both of you are kind of career focused right now. We need to see what else comes up in the cards here. Here and now, your true love is already part of your life, so you guys could be pretty committed with this person already, or things could be headed toward a more stable commitment with each other. All right, here's healing family issues. All right, so the King of Pentacles can be a family card as well. So it's possible also that um, you guys are having focus on individual families right now. And we got two cards coming out here. We have Thief. Light attribute. It sheds light on the potential wealth within you that can never be stolen or stealing money and creative ideas, affection, or other powers you think you lack. All right. So there could be maybe something kind of encroaching on this connection that is maybe stealing the time that you guys can spend with one another. Um, this could be literal for a few of you that maybe someone was dealing with, you know, some kind of financial loss or something. And then here is priest light attributes facilitate spiritual commitments serves as a channel of spiritual energy. Okay. So interesting two cards here. And then here is the shadow side of death transformation. This uh, card, this deck has dark or shadow and light cards for each major arcana. Okay, so I feel like there's some kind of resisting transformation that's going on, some kind of stagnancy here. This King of Pentacles that could also represent something very fixed, something that can't be changed. So I feel that um, there is it, it's there's this real like play between dark and light and you know, shadows, shadows and light in this connection with this like priest and thief energy. It feels like a lot, very like um, devilish to me, like kind of a hot and cold, like push pull thing going on between you two. It feels very complex, which makes sense because Scorpio is the most complex sign in the Zodiac. Uh, but yeah, with the shadow side of transformation, I do feel like there is some stagnancy here, some hesitancy to want to push forward with, um, to transform some things that need to be worked out in order to kind of transmute things into the light so you can go forward with this connection. Okay, so we'll get some more clarity here as we go. Um, since, like I said, this does seem to be kind of some complex energy here. So we'll look at you first, and then we will look at your person. All right, so first of all, Scorpio. Scorpio, let's see, wait, these other decks out of the way. Scorpio, what is your overall energy in this connection with your person? Here's the sun. All right, so this is a great card. This means that you are, you know, you feel pretty positive about this connection. Um, that's why we do have like this priest, this like divine light energy coming in. I feel you, you're very illuminated by this person. They might make really make you feel seen and appreciated, which is good because you know, as a Scorpio, sometimes you feel like you want to hide in the shadows. But I feel like this person has made you push yourself to want to come out into the light. Friendship. This friendship is leading to more. Okay, so maybe a lot of you started out as friends. And that could be why there's some of this complexity here. Maybe you guys have some past issues from your friendship that you have to work through. Here is love yourself first. Okay, so you might not be ready, fully ready to jump into a commitment with this person either. Or this could be you've, you've done a lot of healing. You've learned from your past. You do realize you need to love yourself first and give yourself enough respect so that, you know, this person cannot steal any of your power from you. Wow, here's passion. You make me feel things I can't even describe. This goes along with this sun card here that this person has really just lit you up.
here's family and tribe. So this is the second time that family has come up. So it's possible maybe your family is kind of interfering with this connection somehow, or this could also just mean that, you know, that you feel very much like this person is your soul family at a very deep level. That you would really just do anything for this person. And here is eight protection. I just want to keep you safe and warm. Yeah, this goes along very much with this family and tribe card here that you are, I feel like you're kind of a warrior for this person. You would just do anything to make sure that um, they're protected. All right, what are you thinking about your person, Scorpio? So yeah, I feel like for a lot of you, you've known this person for a long time with this here and now card. Your true love is already part of your life. Um, and it could be that like, this love is just really starting to blossom with them, this passion for them. Okay, here is the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Pentacles, interesting. So it's like you're like so ready to just get the show on the road and like, hey, let's move this forward. But then you know that, like like I said, there's complex energy here. But then you're like, no, 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 we have to slow down. So this is the fastest and the slowest card in the deck right next to each other. Okay, and here's the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, like this is speaking of you going back and forth, being hot and cold, you know, just not knowing exactly what the best route to take is with this person because it's like your passions make you so want um, to just pursue this person like crazy, but then your common sense is more like, okay, I have to cool down. I have to take this more slowly. But it's interesting. We have all these just fiery cards here. Um, this person really lights you up in a way that no other does. So I'm going to clarify this card too, this... Um, Shadow side of transformation here. What is stuck? What is not being transformed? The Eight of Wands. Okay. So there could be just some communication difficulties. Maybe your person is like not wanting to open up more or move this forward. Yeah, I'm just feeling like a lot of stagnancy in this connection. It's probably very frustrating to you because you're just so ready to get going with it. Okay, so how are you feeling about your person, Scorpio? is the Page of Swords. I feel like you're doing a lot of kind of watching and waiting, observing. Ace of Pentacles, maybe waiting until, um, until you can make a move. You're trying to find the best time for you to make a move. You feel like this person is a gift in your life for sure. And here is the Fool. That's very cute. Okay, so yeah, I get I'll just... So much fun energy from this person here for you. And I feel like they've really inspired you in a way that you have not been inspired before, like ever. So you have been taken back to childhood. And since you have been taken back to childhood, I feel like you have had, you know, deep childhood issues come up within you that are ready to be cleared, to be given over to the light here. Because I feel like these old issues have been been the reason uh, has have been the thief of your joy in this connection for both you and them, especially for them. I feel okay. So what else for you, Scorpio? Here's the Nine of Swords. So it looks like this connection is really giving you a lot of anxiety. This is the Sleepless Nights card, so you might even be having quite a few just like restless nights, restless dreams. Your strength. This is a lot like the protection card here. So I, like I said, I feel like you are you are this person's protector. You're just like a warrior for this person. And here is the Three of Cups. So, yeah, friendship. So I feel very much, for most of you, this is just a friend right now. And it could be that you're both working on deepening that commitment. You are ready for that very much. Now, here's the King of Pentacles showing up again. So, yeah, I feel like this is speaking of you guys do want that deeper commitment with one another. You're trying to figure that out. All right. So let's look at your person now, Scorpio. All right, so Scorpio's person, what is their overall energy in this connection with Scorpio? Here's the 
Here's the King of Wands. So some of you could be with a Leo. I was getting a lot of Leo energy over here. So you could have Leo in your chart as well. Okay, so this is someone who is really just wanting to act like they have a lot of confidence and they, they really want to show you like nothing gets them down. Here's Twin Flame. This is the Divine Counterpart Connection. Okay, so for many of you, it's a twin connection. It doesn't have to be for all of you, but uh, it, it is like a quite a mysterious and mystical, mystical connection for most of you. Here's Impatient, I Can't Wait, number 29. And that kind of goes with the King of Wands as well. Gosh, so both of you are seeming, you know, kind of impatient, like you want to get this going. So curious what is just holding you guys back. Whatever these family issues, I guess. Yeah, so funny. Look at this patience. Impatient, impatience. Okay, so you guys are mirroring each other. Um, you know, like the King of Wands isn't the most patient person either. So, but the King of Pentacles is pretty patient. Oh, wow. This is like so much stop and go, hot and cold. So it's like one of you makes a move and then you, the other is like kind of stops it. So I feel like there could be a lot of just running and chasing. You guys like flipping roles like all the time here. Here is dark. I am afraid you're not going to want me if you see the truth. Okay, interesting. The king of wands could be kind of a facade for them to kind of hide, yeah, the darker parts of themselves. But, you know, you're Scorpio, so you're very comfortable with the darker parts of people. So they might not quite understand that yet, that you will, like, really accept them or at least, you know, help or try to understand all those parts of them. Here's new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. All right. So... Yeah, I do feel that this is speaking of like the friendship card here, that this is hitting you both and you're both like, wow, I want more out of this. So I, I do feel like there's a lot of like mutual type feelings here, which is nice. Okay, now we will look at what is your person thinking about you, Scorpio? Oh, Queen of Pentacles, very interesting. So they do see you as someone who would be very worthwhile to spend a lifetime with, to spend a long time with. Six of Cups, how beautiful. They recognize you uh, very much as a, a soulmate and someone from the past. You know, this is, again, speaking of maybe someone you've known for a very long time. They really enjoy this connection with you. They, they do feel a lot of nostalgia when they think of you. Okay, so they do hold you in a sweet light in their mind. And speaking of light, you know, this is usually getting an enlightened perspective, the hanged man. So, yeah, I feel like they're seeing you in a new light. They could be seeing you in this light. You know, someone like, wow, you know, I've known this person for ages and I really feel like I want to know them forever. I want to continue to build a life with them. Okay, what are they feeling about you, Scorpio? Here is the Five of Swords. I had a feeling the Five of Swords would be coming out. This has been coming out a lot lately. So let's get a couple more cards here, though. And then we have the Ten of Swords in reverse. And the High Priestess. All right. So something about you has just made them go quiet. Uh, something about you has mystified them. It's interesting because we have the priest card here as well. So they might have been caught off guard by this, like the higher uh, spiritual nature of this connection here, especially since it's twin flame here. So maybe there's just, you guys have known each other for a while. And then all of a sudden there's just been a recognition of this like twin connection, because I have heard of that because sometimes like the twin connection is kind of dormant where you just kind of know someone and then bam, it's like you wake up to that being your twin. So that could be the case for a lot of you here. Okay. The five of swords here, uh, this came up in another reading today and, I, and it came across as like, they were kind of wanting to sabotage the connection because you know, like the thief card, because they are still like, they still have some weird stuff from their past to work through. It's triggering really deep um, wounds in them. Uh, they're still trying to heal from it, but like this is reversed. So I feel like they are making progress to come out of any uh, betrayals, backstabbings they've had in the past to be able to come in and heal and accept the, the spiritual connection here. 
All right, what else for Scorpio's person? But I do feel like they really want to come off really strong, you know? The Nine of Wands. Yeah, exactly. They're, they act like um, this fighter. We've been through a lot. Six of Pentacles, but I feel like you're the stronger one. You're actually a lot stronger than them, uh, but they like to come across like they're the strong one. So I feel like they have kind of a barrier up to giving more to you. They still have a hard time really trusting in love. And they could also be worried about messing up the friendship you guys do have together already. And here's the chariot. Let's clarify the chariot. The moon. All right. I feel like they are, they feel stuck at a crossroads right now. They don't know which way to go. <laughs> it says this way or that way. So yeah, the moon can be just being really unclear. Just it can be about the unknown, a lot of fears. So yeah, there's deep, deep sub subconscious fears that are coming up whenever they think about having to make a choice in what direction to go in this connection. All right. Now let's take a look at what are their intentions towards you, Scorpio? What are your person's intentions towards you? Right now, the Page of Pentacles. All right, so it does seem like they want to keep taking small steps, offering small things to you bit by bit, um, you know, make steady and slow progress. They don't want to do this all at once. So I feel like they are willing to offer you at least something. Okay, what are their blocks and fears when it comes to this connection? The star. Wow, this came up for as a block in another reading today, too. So to me, it's one of those things where, you know, you feel untouchable to them in a way. You know, we have the high priestess coming up, the priest, and or just if this is too good to be true. This is like just something that's going to be have to be too far out in the future. It just seems like it's otherworldly. And that could be the other thing. They have a hard time accepting this otherworldly connection. Okay, so they prefer to just remain stagnant, not quite transform in order to accept this. They're having a hard time transforming their beliefs about reality and about love. Okay, what are their possible, what's their most likely next action for you, Scorpio? The Four of Pentacles. So not much here, still being kind of reserved. So I feel like if you want action in this connection, you're probably going to have to take the next action, at least right now in the um, short-term future. So what does the short-term future look like? About one month future here for this connection. There's the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands coming up here as well. Six of Wands, interesting. And judgment. Okay, these are pretty nice cards. So you could be feeling like you guys are having some victory here over some issues you guys have together. Uh, there could be movement finally after this period of stagnancy. And judgment is a nice card as well. So that means you guys could be really seeing um, clearly what you need to do to move forward, what you need to clean up in the past, and what you need to do to move forward. So you guys can maybe have some enlightening conversations. It's probably best to have these conversations when both of you are feeling like really confident and good about yourselves. All right. Let's see what else we got here. More for the future. Anything else? This is sleep. Is that sleep? Yeah, sleep. Dreams will reveal what is true and who is real. All right, so maybe you will have some kind of message coming through a dream. All right, let's get you some advice and then we'll get you some messages from them. So what advice does Scorpio most need in this connection right now? Strength. Wow, strength coming through again. Okay, so I mean, that's a very simple message. Just stay strong. Your power um, lies in just that gentle strength you're exuding. Um, you know, don't push for anything to happen. Um, just remain strong. Just be a steadfast, loyal energy. And this is what this person is drawn to. Okay, so gentle, gentle power. 
Okay, what other advice does Scorpio need? This one's coming out. Ooh, pretty. The Rainbow Reviver. So I feel like you guys are needing to kind of bring yourself back to life right now. I'm going to check the book real quick from this one. That maybe things have gotten kind of stagnant and to bring this connection back to life, you know, you have to bring yourself back to life as well. So the message from this card is feeling good from the inside out is important no matter what is happening in your personal life. Okay, so just to get into your power, feel powerful, feel confident, feel awesome in yourself. Okay, so do anything else? Okay, yeah, just basically you guys need to really feel good and confident and awesome in yourself. It's really important for you right now. I feel like overall Scorpios are pretty good about doing that, but just this is a reminder to keep that up. All right, and then here we have number 29, Shallow Grave. You miss someone. All right, yeah. I'm going to check the book for this one as well. So, yeah, I just feel like you guys are, this is, this could be what's dragging you down the stagnancy as well, is that you just um, miss being like completely with this person and maybe it's just overwhelming you sometimes. So, yeah, it's like almost like you're physically aching over this connection. So, I just feel like you guys really need to do some take some time to really deeply heal yourselves. And uh, you guys are Scorpio, so you can definitely come back to life like brighter than ever. Anything else here? All right, yeah, so for some of you, um, this, could, this card can be about uh, maybe needing to move on from this connection. So if you are feeling that, you know, if you've been intuitively getting that nudge, it could be time to just go ahead and move on. And since it says shallow grave, it could mean, you know, that this connection's not necessarily over forever. It could just be, you know, a temporary um, ending in the connection. Okay, any other advice for Scorpio? Okay, this is pretty. Number 34, turquoise, awaken your empathy. Awaken your empathy. All right. I feel like maybe, yeah, some of you have almost had to deaden your empathy just because you guys feel so deeply. So you have the Rainbow Reviver here. I feel like this connection has come in. Like one of the reasons this connection has come to you is to help awaken your ability to feel again because it's like it's really important for your spiritual growth here to be able to experience um, the spectrum of human emotions. Okay, so this is an experience that your soul wanted. Okay, now we're going to get you some message cards from your person. All right, Scorpio, what would your person actually say to you? All right, well, this is an advice card. We'll get back to that. And please don't give up on me. I need you to help me grow. Of course, that is your choice, you know, whether you um, want to stay with this person or not. So let's see the advice that came up for you. Heart chakra, lack of self-love and compassion, attachments. We had empathy coming up as well. So I feel like if this person hasn't been able to, you know, fully be there for you, make sure you're taking really, really good care of yourself. Make sure you're showing yourself that love and compassion if you're not getting it from others. So practice detachment and focus on loving yourself unconditionally. This will in turn assist your counterpart to do the same, yeah, especially since this is a twin flame for most of you. Any changes you're able to make um, in yourself or able to heal in yourself, that's going to help align this connection and help them heal. Because yeah, like, get healing coming up, healing those really, really deep issues and I feel like with this, you guys are both very stuck. So I feel like you're the one who can really start, um, like initiate this healing process because you're the awakened twin, most likely. Um, yeah, it would be highly unlikely that the unawakened twin would be watching this reading. Okay, what else would they say to you? So all these processes usually start with the awakened twin, and then the unawakened twin just kind of gets pulled along. So. I'm truly sorry for all the pain and drama I've caused. You didn't deserve that. Let me get at least one more of these. I feel so lost without you. I'm heartbroken over you. Yeah, I do feel like you are this person's connection to the light. Because otherwise, um, without you, I feel like they're living in kind of a shady energy.
Oh, okay. All right, this is funny. I've got a tarot reading on you. <laughs> and I was just saying, oh, if they're the unawakened twin, uh, they wouldn't be watching this. But maybe maybe they have started watching some tarot on YouTube. Um, for others of you, I take this as if, you know, if that person would never doesn't know anything about tarot, I take it as like they're really interested in what you're up to in your life right now, what's the potential of this connection, what the future of this connection is. They're very interested in knowing more, getting more insight on you. Let me get you one more from this deck. I pretend I don't care because I care too much. I feel that they are very much on guard when it comes to love connections. Oops. Everything you've ever said to me, I've taken to heart. Yeah, I feel like you're really... Um, a teacher to this person. It's like we're star-crossed lovers. Will we ever make it work? Okay, wow. All right. Let's see what else we got here. More for the future. Anything else? This is sleep. Is that sleep? Yeah, sleep. Dreams will reveal what is true and who is real. Right, so maybe you will have some kind of message coming through a dream. All right, let's get you some advice and then we'll get you some messages from them. So what advice does Scorpio most need in this connection right now? Strength, wow, strength coming through again. Okay, so I mean, that's a very simple message. Just stay strong, your power... Um, lies in just that gentle strength you're exuding. Um, you know, don't push for anything to happen. Um, just remain strong. Just be a steadfast, loyal energy. And this is what this person is drawn to. Okay, so gentle, gentle power. Okay, what other advice does Scorpio need? This one's coming out. Ooh, pretty. The Rainbow Reviver. So I feel like you guys are needing to kind of bring yourself back to life. Right now, I'm going to check the book real quick for this one. That maybe things have gotten kind of stagnant and to bring this connection back to life, you know, you have to bring yourself back to life as well. So the message from this card is feeling good from the inside out is important no matter what is happening in your personal life. Okay, so just to get into your power, feel powerful, feel confident, feel awesome in yourself. Okay, so do anything else. Okay, yeah, just basically, you guys need to really feel good and confident and awesome in yourself. That's really important for you right now. I feel like overall, Scorpios are pretty good about doing that, but just this is a reminder to keep that up. All right, and then here we have number 29, Shallow Grave. You miss someone. All right, yeah, I'm going to check the book for this one as well. So... Yeah, I just feel like you guys are, this is, this could be what's dragging you down the stagnancy as well, is that you just um, miss being like completely with this person and maybe it's just overwhelming you sometimes. So yeah, it's like almost like you're physically aching over this connection. So I just feel like you guys really need to do some, take some time to really deeply heal yourselves and uh, you guys are Scorpio, so you can definitely come back to life like brighter than ever. Anything else here? All right, yeah. So for some of you, um, this could this card can be about uh, maybe needing to move on from this connection. So if you are feeling that, you know, if you've been intuitively getting that nudge, it could be time to just go ahead and move on. And since it says shallow grave, it could mean you know that this connection's not necessarily over forever. It could just be you know a temporary. Um, ending in the connection. Okay, any other advice for Scorpio? Okay, this is pretty. Number 34, turquoise, awaken your empathy. Awaken your empathy. All right. I feel like maybe, yeah, some of you have almost had to deaden your empathy just because you guys feel so deeply. So you have the Rainbow Reviver here. I feel like this connection has come in, like one of the reasons this connection has come to you is to help awaken your ability to feel again, because it's like, it's really important for your spiritual growth here to be able to experience um, the spectrum of human emotions. 
Okay, so this is an experience that your soul wanted. Okay, now we're going to get you some message cards from your person. All right, Scorpio, what would your person actually say to you? All right, well, this is an advice card. We'll get back to that. And please don't give up on me. I need you to help me grow. Of course, that is your choice, you know, whether you um, want to stay with this person or not. So let's see the advice that came up for you. Heart chakra, lack of self-love and compassion, attachment. So we had empathy coming up as well. So I feel like if this person hasn't been able to, you know, fully be there for you, make sure you're taking really, really good care of yourself. Make sure you're showing yourself that love and compassion if you're not getting it from others. So practice detachment and focus on loving yourself unconditionally. This will in turn assist your counterpart to do the same, yeah, especially since this is a twin flame for most of you. Any changes you're able to make um, in yourself or able to heal in yourself, that's going to help align this connection and help them heal. Because yeah, get healing coming up, healing those really, really deep issues and I feel like with this, you guys are both very stuck. So I feel like you're the one who can really start, um, like initiate this healing process because you're the awakened twin, most likely. Um, yeah, it would be highly unlikely that the unawakened twin would be watching this reading. Okay, what else would they say to you? So all these processes usually start with the awakened twin and then the unawakened twin just kind of gets pulled along. So... I'm truly sorry for all the pain and drama I've caused. You didn't deserve that. Let me get at least one more of these. I feel so lost without you. I'm heartbroken over you. Yeah, I do feel like you are this person's connection to the light. Because otherwise, um, without you, I feel like they're living in kind of a shady energy. Oh, okay. All right, this is funny. I've got a tarot reading on you. <laughs> I was just saying, oh, if they're the unawakened twin, uh, they wouldn't be watching this. But maybe maybe they have started watching some tarot on YouTube. Um, for others of you, I take this as if, you know, if that person would never, doesn't know anything about tarot, I take it as, like, they're really interested in what you're up to in your life right now, what's the potential of this connection, what the future of this connection is. They're very interested in knowing more, getting more insight on you. Let me get you one more from this deck. I pretend I don't care because I care too much. I feel that they are very much on guard when it comes to love connections. Oops. Everything you've ever said to me, I've taken to heart. Yeah, I feel like you're really um, a teacher to this person. It's like we're star-crossed lovers. Will we ever make it work? Okay, wow. All right, you guys. So, yeah, this was an interesting reading. Um, hope it helped you.